This is Hannah. This is not Jesus Christ. I know it's very confusing. It took me years to get that correct. <laughs> Hi guys, my name is Grace. Help you do not know now. You know your life is different now. It's the end of this month. What month is it? May? B, it's May. So it's time for my favorite things. Let's do it. No hesitations. No reservations. Only hesitations and only reservations. Would not be a Food Network show I would watch. This one's got a Food Network show that I would watch. First, this! There's a fly on my microphone. It's the name of a podcast I would not ever listen to. Get out there, buddy. What are you doing? I'm gonna take a photo. I believe I can fly. So what if that photo of the other side of the room was just all sex swings everywhere and you guys had no idea this whole time? Yeah! Can you see it? Can you see it? Can you see it? This is something I got sent for free, which is not the formula for me automatically putting it in a favorites video, though. This is, what is this? Glam Glow Glow Starter Mega Illuminating Moisturizer Hydrant Mega Illuminant. Wow, I'm exhausted just reading all of the ways that they describe their product. This is what I understand to be a tinted moisturizer. I put this on my face before I slap other paints on my face and just create layers and layers and layers of hiding. And it's really fun. This um, feels good on my face. It doesn't feel heavy and it smells so f***ing good. It, I don't know how, what does this smell like? I can't place what the smell is, but it smells really good. It smells like, it smells like, um, it smells like, like oops. it smells like, you're doing your life correctly. Like it smells very overcompensatingly, but not aggressively overcompensatingly decent. This is the kind of smell that I would imagine like a girl that gets um, a full night of sleep and wakes up and has a very active day um, and gets a lot of um, productivity done and also has like a very healthy relationship. I imagine that like her natural body odor is this scent. So that's why I like this very much. I'll let you know in like a week's time if I get some sort of scabies of the face because of it. But so far so good. Next is, yes, can you see it? Can you see it? Can you see it? Is my microphone on? Yeah. This is L'Oreal Paris Infallible Pro Glow 24 Hour Foundation. More words, more words, please. Thank you. I have this L'Oreal. Where is that? I put this in favorite videos before. This is their Infallible Pro Matte Foundation that I love very, very much because it gives a very matte finish to your face, and I like looking like canvas that you buy from Michael's craft store. But this one is their Pro Glow, so it gives you a little bit of a glow and it's a little bit less opaque. They put a little grid on the back for helpful looking. The finish, Demi Matte Natural Radiant. This one's radiant, so you're welcome. Wear up to 12 hours, 16 hours, 24 hours, 24 hours. I don't know if that's totally true. I usually end up having to reapply this in a few hours, but doesn't mean I don't like it. Coverage low, medium high, medium. Texture, air light, medium rich, air light. I will say this feels very light on my face and when things sit on my face, I don't want them to be heavy. Sit with that for a second. Next! Can you see it? Can you see it? Can you see it? This is a scent. It smells nice. It does not smell bad. I love Elizabeth and James scents. I put them in favorites videos before. I've talked about Bourbon, which is a really great scent that they have. And I've talked about Nirvana Black, which is a really great scent. And this is their scent Rose, which came out when they released Bourbon. And it's a little bit, to me, more feminine. No, I'm not going to gender my scents. What am I, an idiot? I should just lean into the thing that I'm best at, which is describing scents. This smells like, it smells, it smells, it smells like hot soap, hot flowers, hot pressed flowers. If you got a cake mix from a CVS, Yes, and you made a birthday cake and then you shoved flowers in the middle of it and you let it sit in the sun for a couple hours, not to the point that it would go, go bad, it'd still be edible. It smelled like this and I enjoy that. Why they don't send me their products for free, I don't know because obviously I upsell the f out of them. Next! Oh, there! Yeah. Can you see it? Can you see it? Can you see it? These, oh, no, these are geodes. You know what geodes are? Well, that's embarrassing that you do or do not know. Geodes are rocks. I have crystals inside. What is the actual definition of geode? Geode, a small cavity in rock lined with crystals or other mineral matter. I, in a slightly intoxicated state, purchased numerous packages of geodes off of Amazon for a very inexpensive cost. And they come as rocks and basically you just burst them open and then you find the crystal that's inside. I can attest to the fact that it is a very fun activity that leaves you with a very beautiful product at the end of it. Here is me in action with a geode. I don't know if it's gonna break on the first time. Well, be strong. Okay. This is for mothers. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> that, that was aggressive! <laughs> geode right there. Yeah, that's beautiful. 
That's worth it. Wow, that girl's having a great time and is very capable and responsible and productive. Also follow me on Instagram. The geodes look beautiful on the inside. They make great gifts, they make great crafts, they make a great way to procrastinate. Cute! Next! That! Can you see that? Can you see? Can you see? This is a shirt that I recently purchased when I was in New York City and I packed poorly for my trip and all of my clothes are very dirty and I needed to go to a professional event and I had nothing to wear so of course I scurried to the H&M men's section and found this shirt, which I enjoy very much and I've got nothing but compliments on this shirt every time I wear it. I think it's either because people like it or because they are confused as to why I'm wearing a men's shirt, obviously, so they cover their very obvious confusion face with a verbal compliment. Either way, people are paying attention and isn't that the goal? I believe I can fly. Oh, Jesus. The H&M men's section, for any of you that are curious, right now has a lot of very tropical themed prints and t-shirts and things and such. For any of you fellow short torsoers out there, the H&M, well, men's clothing in general, has a longer torso than women's t-shirts, and so they fit me better. Oh, I got exhausted being so thorough in my review and so helpful in my advice. Nah! Can you see it? Can you see it? Because you can't see it, but you can, um, you can see that it's available for pre-order. It's Mary Hart's book. Mary just announced that she is releasing a second book. That is truly exciting to me because our first book was so good. I haven't read it yet, but I trust that it's very good. Mamrie's second book is all about not telling the same story twice. So she's been on a billion trillion adventures in the last year and is writing them all in a book form for you guys. So I highly recommend checking that out. There's a link in the description box below to go pre-order her book. And oh, that got so dark in here. I mean, emotionally it got very light and supportive, but the, the lighting got so dark. Anyway, there are my May favorites for May. If you guys enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe to this YouTube channel because I make videos Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, sometimes. Yeah, what have you guys been favoriting? Leave it in the comments below because I'll definitely, absolutely read all of those comments for sure. I don't know. It does not smell bad, which is a great um, review of anything that's meant to be smelling good and to increase your body's overall goodness of smell. <sighs> Maybe I am an AI robot and this is the moment in which I find out about that because that cadence was jittery. Can you say it? Oh no, my foundation. That was my impression of a girl that you never want to spend time with. <laughs>